Folks, welcome back to the Wanneroo channel. Now, in particular, for you ladies today, I've got an awesome video for y'all. If you are looking for a bunch of cool little stocking stuffer gifts um, that uh, will be useful uh, to your husband, brother, uncle, cousin, some random dude you're dating and you just need to get him something, I've got you covered right here. Everything will be listed down below on Amazon with a link. Uh, clicking on the link there, it just kicks back a tiny commission to the channel if you purchase. And it's a way for people to voluntarily support the channel. So I appreciate y'all that do that. The more support we get, the more videos that we make. So let's take a look at our first item. So folks, the first item here we'll take a look at is the Rescue Me tool. This is a handy, inexpensive tool that is great for situations in case you ever get trapped in a vehicle, especially if a fire starts. This right here, you push this up against uh, any side window and unless it has some extra laminate or something on it, um, it will go ahead and break that glass and shatter it. And then also too, you have a hard striking edge here as well for glass um, that you can use. And then if you are hung up in a seat belt or caught in a seat belt, you basically just pull this tab right here and this little knife, this little blade here is designed to cut through seat belts. Um, in my previous experience, um, having been hung up in a car where an electrical fire started and the seat belt pretensioner actually locked me in tight into the car while the fire was starting up, uh, not a pleasant situation. Fortunately, I was able to call over a colleague on the radio and uh, he could not undo the button himself and had to cut me out of the seat belt. Since then, I've never gone without a tool like this to extricate myself from a vehicle if need be. For the m amount of money these cost, you can buy a bunch of these for folks and um, it's kind of a no-brainer. Look for a full review on my channel soon, include, including cutting seat belts and popping a side window just to demonstrate how it works. So stay tuned for that. Next up, folks, is the Protector Phone Tether by Rogue Gear Company. I've been testing this out this year. I've been very happy with it. Uh, eventually, we'll drop a full review on the channel. Um, and this is a nice little piece of kit where if you do anything like kayaking, um, boating, uh, hiking, different stuff like that, um, we've all been there. We know how easy it is for a phone to tumble out of your hands and then away it goes, especially if it falls on rocks. That seems to do the most damage to screens, camera lenses, stuff like that. Um, so for kayaking in particular this year, I picked this up. It's nice. Your phone just uh, tethers right into it. Uh, and, uh, you know, pretty easy. Just connects up here. You've got a longer tether here as well. And then a snap link basically to uh, hook it on to something. Uh, so this year especially, I was filming... Uh, for a kayak review and last thing I wanted to do was dump my phone in a drink. So got this. I've been very happy with it. Um, it holds the phone in just fine. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Um, no sign of it at all coming loose. Perfect little piece of gear um, if you've got a man in your life that does those sorts of adventure activities. This is a great thing to have to keep your phone from fumbling out of your hands to a place where you don't want it to go. Um, so definitely recommend this. Like I said, full review coming at some point down the road. Next little piece of kit, I dumped these all out on the table. You're wondering what in the world these, these are. I got to tell you, these are one of the biggest time savers in my life when I'm using a pressure washer. And uh, you know how when you hook up a pressure washer, you've got the hoses and you got you know a couple different hoses. You've got the... Um, you know, basically the sprayer gun, all that stuff. Uh, and there's all this crap you got to connect up. And there's nothing more frustrating than sitting there screwing it all together and then having to unscrew it when you're done. So what you can do is you can get this kit right here uh, from a company called Mingle on Amazon. Um, I've been recommending these uh, for the past couple of years on my channel. They've been very popular with a lot of folks that watch my channel. And uh, plenty of people have purchased them. They seem pretty happy with them. And essentially all the little bits on your uh, pressure washer, uh, you know, whatever the connector is, you use these quick disconnects here um, to hook everything up. 
And I tell you, uh, it just saves so much time. You know, everything just clicks together like that. And then when you're done, you just pop it off. <laughs> so much, uh, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how much time these save. Um, and for a little kit, it's less than 20 bucks. It doesn't take that long to install. Um, they hold up for years. They also come with um, extra seals and stuff too. It's like a no-brainer if you have a pressure washer. Definitely get one of these. I can't see how anyone wouldn't be happy with these. Um, if they do start to wear out or whatever too much, um, then, you know, as I have in the past, because I heavily use them, I just buy another kit if they just get too grungy or, you know, whatever it is. And so I have this one as spares hanging around. Definitely check out the link below in these. These are awesome. Now, another thing men need, especially when we have to go and fix stuff, is we need light. And, uh, you know, having a good workshop light is just a big time saver. It really helps especially as we get old and our eyes is not as, not as good as they used to be, especially in seeing in the dark and stuff like that and um, all that. So when you're trying to fix stuff, you just need good lighting. Two lights I've been using lately that I really like. This one right here, it's a little bit different than this one. Um, you got a bunch of options with this. You got a way you can hang it upside down if you want. You have a stand, you can use that to turn it into a stand basically. Um, you've got a bunch of different settings. Now watch out. This is bright. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know how that comes out of camera, but it's blinding the crap out of me right now. And then uh, lower setting here. And then uh, you got a little flashlight as well that you can use it like a little flashlight. And then you can also you have it as a strobe too. So like in a um, situation like if you were changing a tire or whatever. Uh, so handy little light. I really like these. As I recall, they come in a two pack. I'll put a link to them down below. Been very happy with them so far. I'll throw out an independent review on them at some point. Um, this one also, this Addy Ding light, I recently put a review out on this. Uh, also too, this one's got a hook on the bottom, magnetic base, um, different lighting modes. I think the top uh, mode is like a thousand lumens. I've got a separate review already published on my channel. Um, a little flashlight there. Um, so you can check out that review on my channel. I put it out, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. Um, from when this video dropped so it's out there so handy little lights really like them uh, everybody needs a good little workshop light so definitely check those out link is down below another cool little tool that you can get for your husband brother cousin random dude out there uh, for stocking stuffer is this little tool by the company uh, it's called Weha. Um, it's a German company now some of the tools they don't always make in Germany um, sometimes they make them here in the United States um, or different countries. I have found the quality on uh, these Weha tools or Viha uh, tools. They are um, good quality. I find, you know, for me, uh, very happy with them. The one thing I like about this with this little tool, this is for Torx bits. Uh, and especially if you do a lot of firearm stuff and all that, uh, Torx bits are very common. Uh, you'll see these in automotive uh, applications too on a lot of cars. And they're becoming more and more common, I find. Uh, so having a little kit like this, it's nice because these just store uh, right in the bottom of it. So it just makes it easy. Um, you don't have to have all these random bits rolling around. For, so for a little stocking stuff or tool, these are really cool. You've got a nice little kit of six uh, Torx bits here. Just fit right in the bottom. And if you want to use one, you just basically pop it out. Pop it right in there. And boom, there you go. You know, toot, 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 and you're good to go. So yeah, I love this little tool. Check out the link down below. Now, another little tool that makes for a good uh, stocking stuffer is the Sonic Scrubbers. Now, this tool, I think, has been around since the 1990s. And it was very popular as like one of those sold on TV things for a long time. And it just kind of little, just kind of faded out, it kind of seemed like. But it's still very popular in countries like Japan and the UK. Um, you can still get them here on Amazon. I guess they don't promote them as much as they used to. Um, but my previous one that I bought in the 90s, which was exactly the same as this, uh, it lasted uh, until about maybe about two years ago and then it conked out. And I used it a lot. Now there's a lot of dudes out there that are kind of grungy dudes. They don't like to clean, uh, clean or scrub stuff. Um, but for a lot of dudes, we do like to keep stuff clean. We do like to keep it up. 
and for automotive purposes or just general cleaning, whatever it might be. The thing that's awesome about these is like um, you've got different heads that kind of fit on them. There's different uh, brushes that kind of screw in. I should have brought those out for the video, forgot. But um, they, uh, they just rotate right in here and click into place and it already there's like a little rotating brush. So when you turn it on, the head there rotates. Um, and the other thing is, what I like is with this flat one here, it's like a Velcro. And so you've got like different scrubber pads you can attach to it and, a, you know, different, uh, um, you know, I guess you could say, um, uh, you know, how tough the material is or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think of the words for it. And then um, also, too, you've got like these little polishing pads as well. Um, so, you know, that works really well. I use it all the time. It's um, just one of my most popular tools that I use. So for some dudes, they might not like something like this, but someone who likes to kind of keep things clean and scrubbed up, this is perfect. Okay, next up is these JCL Soft Vice Grips. Now, uh, if you've got a dude that uh, uses a lot of vices and stuff um, for different applications, different things that they're fixing, whatever, a lot of times the jaws are metal. And for different plastics and woods and even different things that are metal that you don't want to scratch up, uh, those metal jaws can be kind of harsh. And the cool thing with these is that they have magnets. They just fit over the metal jaws and then you can kind of clamp things down and squeeze it in with your vise. And you have a little bit of give there. They're kind of soft. They don't mark up things as much and all that. And then they also have, uh, as part of the set here, um, if you've got different things of different sizes that you need to kind of fit in these grooves, uh, th you know, these come in handy too. So, um, you know, when you go to close it or whatever, um, you know, you can see here like different um, circular or oval shaped objects or whatever um, you can use for those situations. So I use these quite a bit and they're just very handy. You probably wouldn't think much of them at first, but if you're going to use a vise a lot, these are just very useful and nice little things to have. And they're available at an affordable price too. I think just over the $20 range. So check out the link below. Now a few other things. Uh, one thing that I really do uh, like quite a lot is you can buy, um, uh, if you've ever run into issues or, you know, especially if you've got husband, brother, random dude, whatever. He likes to work in the garage, the barn, uh, work on all sorts of things. Nothing is more frustrating than dropping something metal and not being able to get to it. Like let's say if you're working on an engine, something like that, it falls down on the ground. Underneath the vehicle, it's hard to get to. So that's where this long pole comes into place. It's got a magnetic head on it. Uh, looks like we've actually got a staple there. It picked up somewhere. And yeah, anything that's magnetic, it'll just attach right to it. Um, I've also used this anytime you do construction. You know how sometimes construction workers, they'll get a bit lazy, start throwing nails and stuff around. So after they do their construction work, I'll go through with this and pick up any uh, spare um, you know, nails or bolts or anything like that that's laying around. And yeah, it's just uh, basically a long pole with a handle. And uh, yeah, it's just easy to use. So. You know, for 20 bucks, pretty much, or just over 20 bucks, these are handy things to have around. They make for a nice stocking stuffer. Um, you know, for someone that doesn't have something like this, like I said, they're handy to have around. You probably don't end up using them a lot, but when you need them, you really need them. It's kind of one of those deals. Check out the link below. And lastly, folks, another awesome little st stocking stuffer is these ramrods. Uh, for any dude that is into firearms and does any sort of shooting, of course, at some point, they have to clean their firearm. And these are mega, mega handy. Um, they're high quality, I like them. The uh, stick here is made out of bamboo. It's tightly wound uh, cotton, so it's not like a Q-tip, you know, where you just have all these stringy cotton crap kind of coming off of it. They're very tightly wound. They're also pre-cut to certain sizes. So these, for instance, are for 38, nine mil, 357, 380. It'll fit those size barrels. Uh, you just put cleaning solution on them, right down the barrel. It picks up all the gunk. You, ch you toss it out when it gets too dirty. Um, and then um, usually if I clean a pistol, I'll go through about five to ten of these to get it done. Uh, maybe if it's real dirty, maybe a little bit more. Um, 
I know for a lot of folks, they like the patches and stuff. Most of the time, for most of my cleaning, once you start using these, uh, you can't go back to that. So I'm not saying I still don't use patches and stuff, but these ramrods here, uh, they're just, they just save you so much hassle. Uh, check out the link down below on these. Keep in mind, like I said, there's all different sizes. So these would fit a 22 caliber barrel, like your regular AR-15. Uh, and here, you know, you've got 38, 9 mil, 357, 380. There's ones in 45 ACP. Uh, there's ones for 308. So there's different sizes. They also have smaller ones too for finer, uh, you know, detail cleaning like the breech and stuff like that. So check out the link below on these. Highly recommend them. Really like them. Um, I think once someone starts using them, if they haven't already, um, you know, they will enjoy using them. So folks, it's time to wrap up this video. Uh, it's been a lot of fun making it. Um, thing is with gear, I always look for, does it make your life better? Does it make your life easier? Uh, and that is the whole thing behind putting this together is to give you guys some good ideas uh, for stuff out there that does exactly that. And so stay tuned. We will probably have another Christmas gift video or two dropping at some point here soon. Stay tuned for that. Also, too, tons of stuff coming up on the channel. We got a lot of reviews and other things happening, um, different videos, uh, all sorts of projects I'm working on. Uh, it's pretty incredible. I have just a ton of stuff to put out there that has already been filmed even. So uh, stay tuned, folks. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Support the channel with the Amazon links below. Also, uh, make sure you purchase through there. We do appreciate those to do that. And we will see you all next time.